Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In this tutorial, you will learn how you can use the, the Android Alarm Intent to start or to create an alarm from within your app. Uh, let me show you an output of what you're going to build in this tutorial. So what we have right here is in the emulator we have this simple app that has these two edit text and two buttons. So the first thing that you do is you need to set the time. And here we will use the the Android uh, Android time uh, time picker. So when you click on the set time button, it will show the time picker dialog that will allow you to choose the time of when you want to set the alarm. So I'm going to set the alarm at 11 p.m. and you click OK. So the time will be shown here, and when you click on the set alarm button it will set the alarm for you based on that time as you can see here so the clock is set at 11 p.m. and another thing is you can see that here in this message you can actually customize this as well so for this example I've set a message saying that set an alarm for morning walk even though it's 11 p.m. but you got the idea okay so let's open up Android Studio and let's get started okay here in Android Studio, we have these two files open. We have the main activity.java and we have the activity underscore main.xml file. Let me open up the, the XML file and I'll walk you through the things that the, the views that we have here inside the screen. We will start first with the edit text. So this would be the, uh, the one that accepts the, uh, the hour. And we have a set the ID for it and the hint and simple stuff and its position on top here and by the way the rule layout that I'm using for this tutorial is is constraint layout okay and the second one the second view we have is button so actually it should be edit text and is the second edit text okay so this is the minute and its position below the hour as you can see here and then finally we have these two buttons which are posi positioned horizontally next to each other. If you guys are trying to figure out how you can position these two buttons, these two buttons together on the same screen, be sure to check out a tutorial I did where I show you how you can do that using constraint layout. It's, re it's really simple. You, you guys should check it out. Okay, so this is the, the XML layout. Now let's open up the, the main activity and here what we have is we have referenced the uh, we have declared the views and we have re referenced them based on their IDs as you can see here and then we have set the uh, the on click listener for the time button and for the alarm button so for the time button okay this code again if you're st if you're still like new or you try to learn how you can create the time picker dialog inside the app then I did a tutorial that will show you how you can do that so this code is actually copied from that tutorial and I'll post that link somewhere in the on the video itself or you can check that in the description below and I'll walk you through that right here as well so what we have here is when the user taps on the set time button which is here the user taps on this button then it will show the the time picker dialog Okay, and here we have initialized the, the calendar. The reason we did that because we need to get the, the, the current hour and the current minute, as you can see here, hour of the day and the minute. And then uh, we've declared time picker on top here. So time picker is, we've instantiated that, passing in the, the current context, which is the main activity, and we pass in the, the sorry, just the main activity, and you can see at the bottom here, we've passed in the, the current hour and the current minute. And you have this Boolean option whether you want it, the, the time picker to support a 24 hours view or not. Uh, we set as false. Okay, so inside the on click, sorry, inside the on time set method here, that's where we're going to set the, uh, the time, set the hour and the minute inside those two edit text. And we're getting those values from the from here hour of the day and the minute and we're trying to format that 
because it's because the edit text accepts string if you if you directly copy this out of the day and you put it here inside the time period of set text then you'll the app will crash so because the edit text doesn't support uh, a direct integer you need to cast that integer into a string format and that's what we're doing here so it's string dot format and the dollar sign 2d dollar dollar sign 0 2d and we pass in the hour of the day and we'll do the same thing for the minutes okay and then finally make sure that you call this time picker dot show otherwise the dialog will not show okay so okay so we're not we're now done with the time picker next we'll go to to the set alarm which is what the tutorial is all about so the set alarm is we're going to use an attempt for that now the first thing that we should do is when user taps we show the uh, the clock or the alarm and to do that we'll do intent call it attempt equals to new attempt and for this it will be alarm alarm clock dot action set alarm that's the first one okay this is the type of attempt so it's an alarm clock action underscore set underscore alarm and then we need to put and we need to set few values the first one would be the hour and the minute so it's going to be attend dot put extra and that would be the alarm alarm oops alarm clock dot extra so we have so many types of extra attributes here we're going to choose the hour so here the hour and for the second value that we need to pass is the the actual value that we set inside the the hour edit text and you can't actually do something like time hour whereby you get the value of the edit text you need to cast that okay let me show you what I'm, what I'm saying here so if we do time hour to get text dot to string if we do something like this then you can't actually set the alarm because the put extra here the first value accepts a string and the second value should be integer and this is basically a string so to do that what you can do is you need to parse this integer as a string to do that we'll do integer integer yep dot parse and because we need to pass this string as an integer if we do that then we'll be able to pass this integer value which is the hour to the uh, to the alarm clock attempt and we'll do the same thing for the minute so now we did, we did for the hour let me copy this sorry let me just copy the whole line and paste it here okay now we did for the hour we'll just change this to minute and we'll change this to the minute as well so first time hour next will be time minute and finally we need to set the the message that you can put in the uh, for the clock for the alarm so the message is basically this set alarm for morning walk so we're going to set this message you can set this message to whatever value that you want for this example we'll just go with that and we'll do attempt attempt dot put extra put extra and for here we'll do alarm alarm clock dot extra and we have here is the message and for this message we just pass in a value a string value and for that I'm just gonna copy the value here so set alarm for morning walk so set alarm for morning walk okay and finally we start the activity so we go start activity we pass in the attempt okay now it looks good okay but before you start the attempt you need first to check 
if your emulator or your physical device has has a clock app that can handle this type of attempt because if you don't do that and for uh, and for some reasons you don't have a clock app that comes with your phone then the app will crash so to, to prevent that from crashing what you can do is we we'll do if and we say attempt first we check if there is an app that handle this type of action and we do attempt to get uh, dot, dot resolve activity get package manager it's not equal to null so what we're doing here is if there is an activity inside the so if there is an app inside your phone your physical device or the emulator that support this type of action then please start the activity so I'm just going to copy this and put paste it right here. Otherwise, we're just going to show a simple toast message. I will pass the main activity as the context, and for this message would be uh, there is there is no app that support this action. Length will be short, and finally, don't forget to call the show method. Okay. Now we're safe from uh, getting our app crashing. Another thing, the another thing is, before we actually start the attempt, we need to, like for example, if you go back here, we need to make sure that the the user have actually set a time. If these edit texts are empty, that means the alarm clock will set with uh, some sort of default values, and we don't want that. So. What we, what we can do here is, before we actually start the attempt, we need to check if those values are null or not. We'll do a simple check if the time hour dot get text dot to string dot is empty, and do the same thing for time minute dot get text dot to string dot is empty. Before that, before the time hour and the time minute, what you can do is put the exclamation mark here. What that means is, if the time hour is not empty, this one means not. So if the time hour is not empty and if the time minute is not empty, then please proceed with starting the attempt. So I'm just going to copy this code I'm going to paste it right here. Okay. Now, otherwise, we'll show a simple toast message that will say, uh, please choose a time. Length is short, and don't forget to show. Okay. So we have, we've set the alarm. Uh, button so when the user taps on this button first we'll check if the user have actually set the time before so we're getting the value of the time hour and the time minute if they're not empty or if they're not null then proceed with creating the uh, the attempt here setting the alarm we pass here the hour the minute the the message and before we start the activity, we need to check if the phone or the physical device has an app that supports it, support this action. If it does, start the activity. Otherwise, show the toast message with this message. Now, if the user didn't yet choose the time, then we'll just show a simple toast message. Please choose a time. Okay. Now, before we actually run the app, if we go back to the documentation here, so this, this alarm clock, I'll paste, I'll paste the link for this documentation in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out. Here, what it says that the, okay, applications that, we'll start from here, applications that wish to receive the alarm, wish to receive the alarm, uh, action set alarm and action set time on attempts should create activity to handle the attempt that require the permission. So you can see here the in order to for us to use this 
uh, attend, we need to use this permission. Because if you don't add this permission inside the manifest file, the app will crash. So let just let, uh, let me just copy this line, go back to Android Studio, open up your manifest file, manifest, Android manifest, and here we'll add the permission. So it's going to be a user's permission. We're just going to pass that line here. Okay, so we have added the permission. And I think so far, so far so good should be okay. To do that, let's click on the run button. All right, so build is complete. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to set the, t the hour and the minute. Now if let's say you want to test, you want to check if the app works. If you don't set the hour and the time, and if you set, if you don't set the time, you can just tap on this set alarm. Now you can see we have this toast message, please choose a time. So it works perfectly. Now what you can do is, you can click on the set time button. And here is the time picker. So we'll set that to 12, 12 in the morning, AM. Click OK. So then click on the, tap on the button, set alarm. And here is the alarm. So we set the alarm at 12 a.m. And we've set the message as set alarm for morning walk. Okay. And if you click on the uh, back button, you'll be directed back to the, uh, to the app here again. All right. So this is basically it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And happy coding.